Hi, welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Sabrina Register. Today we're in Seattle at the Northwest African American Museum. And joining me right now, Kevin Ross, who is the founding chairman of FIRST, which stands for For Inspiration and Recognition of Science and Technology. Did I get that right? For Inspiration and Recognition of Science and Technology. Thank Perfect. you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So for those who don't know, and in your name, gives a, a, at least a hint, but, but what is FIRST? Um, FIRST is a program designed to inspire kids to become leaders in science and technology. So uh, we're, we're trying to engage them um, into seeing themselves taking on a scientific or technical role or career. And, and why'd, you, why'd you create this? Um, the, uh, the, the program was created to, uh, to let kids be celebrated for being smart Mm -hmm. to let kids see that there are uh, other opportunities rather than the traditional basketball and sports and entertainment um, and to really get them engaged and to be able to find their own passion because to be successful in life you have to be passionate about something and so our entire goal is to make sure that these kids have an opportunity to be passionate about science and technology. Last few years I would say uh, we've heard a lot about STEM. Um, big, big emphasis. Would you say as um, a community, a region, even as a nation, are, are we lacking in this area? And is our workforce, if we don't do something about it, really shrinking? Yes, absolutely. Um, the number of engineers that we put out is not meeting demand. And it isn't just engineers and scientists. It's even in the manufacturing sector, for example. The, the old days where things were done in a factory no longer really applies anymore. Now things are done in manufacturing centers and these are all very high tech jobs that you can't just throw someone in mm -hmm. with no skills. So um, um, we, as a, as a country, we have not been producing enough people to keep up with our own demand. There, um, according to Senator Kastema, um, who's on our executive advisory board, there are, um, there are as many as 70,000 unfilled positions in the state of Washington wow. with people who aren't skilled enough to take them. So our goal is that we can generate a, a, a a whole new generation of students that are able to take those jobs. When you say students, are you talking high schoolers, elementary school, middle school? We, we, uh, we're trying to start very early to get uh, an interest going. So for, for six to nine year olds, we have a program called Junior First Lego League, mm -hmm. where they learn how to communicate uh, complex ideas and do research projects. Um, in the in middle, late middle school and, and or late elementary and early middle school, we have something called First Lego League, where the students uh, build a robotic project to play in a game. Um, they also do a research project and are, are, need to communicate their research to a, a group of adult judges. Um, and then at the middle school, high school level, we have a program called First Tech Challenge, where the students work together to build a robot creation to play in a game. Um, and we also start getting them involved in the community and then the, the big program is called the FIRST Robotics Competition. Uh, it's for high school students, and we, um, they build very large robots, they, uh, and we really get them engaged in the community and feeling like leaders and, and making themselves feel good about themselves. I was just about to ask you, how do you keep kids engaged in, in STEM, but you just answered it. When, when you said robotics, that sounds really fun. Oh, it is. And, um, for example, the first robotics competition, the high school version, some of these teams are big. Uh, Interlake High School in Bellevue, for example, has got um, about 86 kids on their team. Newport High School has 96. Um, it, we have really, really big teams of kids all working together on a very big problem, very big project, but they're very much engaged and this is a really a center part of their lives. Are we talking about a certain area, the Seattle area, King County? Um, this, this program, um, Washington First Robotics, uh, um, which is the, the group that we started, um, uh, handles the first, first in all of Washington State. It's a national program. It's based out in New Hampshire. And uh, nationwide, there are about 300,000 students involved. Wow. And uh, somewhere around 80,000 uh, volunteer mentors. Kevin, we're almost out of time. Looking yeah. for more students and more mentors to join first? Always. We're okay. always looking for mentors, and we're always looking for financial support, of course. Okay. Um, love to get everybody involved. Thank you so much for You're coming welcome. on. Thanks for watching Comcast Newsmakers Headline News at the top and bottom of the hour. Hope you can stay with us.